All right, guys. Uh, 2005 uh, Mercedes Benz S Class. Uh, there's a lot of problems with these radios. You, as you know by now, buying this car um, basically enslaves you to a lifetime of hell electronically. But believe it or not, now there's enough data on the internet to be able to figure these things out when stuff goes wrong. So my symptoms were on the head unit up front. I have the command system. Uh, whenever I would turn the car on, system would pop on. For about 10 seconds, it would say system unavailable and then turn right back off. Okay. Uh, if your command unit is powering on, your head unit is powering on, I can almost guarantee you the problem with your radio is not in the head unit. Okay. It's just not. Uh, if the unit powers on, maybe one in 10 that your head unit still could have a flaw, but that's not, that's not the problem. The problem is, I'll tell you what the problem is, just like my car, these uh trunk wells down in here tend to collect water i removed the little plug on my uh trunk well so it could drain but the problem is the water gets in there comes in through the tail lights sometimes and it fills up and it gets into the bottom of what's called the audio gateway now let me go over briefly each of the components on the on my car this is a 05 w220 with the bose uh amp and the way you can tell the bose amp is it has the cute little uh, has a little fan back here. Let's see if I can get the light on it. See that fan? That means it's the Bose amp. Okay. Uh, the, another way you can tell that is by I'll, when I turn it turn it back over here in a minute. Uh, I'll show you. There's a little sticker that says W220 uh, somewhere up here or, or down here. I can't remember, but uh, this is the Bose system. Okay. Uh, let me give you a brief overview of how this works. As you know, these yellow, these orange wires are all fiber optic. This is called the most ring media media or media oriented transport system. It's a pretty badass system as long as it works. But keep in mind, if you have any kinks, any bends in the system, or anything like that, you're basically screwed. The system is pretty durable, so uh, it can take some damage. Um, but like everything else the Germans designed, it's way overcomplicated and su uh, subject to failure. The way I troubleshot my system is I realized that my Bose amplifier had no power. So I want to tell you something. Before you go through all of this, let me show you under the hood what you need to check first. Okay? Let me grab my flashlight here. Basically, if you go under the hood on the driver's side of the car, all right, you can see. Here's your um, fuse system. Now... It's, the, the manual's really confusing because if you'll notice down in here, uh, I got too much light. Let me turn this off. Whoa, geez. It's a badass flashlight. All right, if you look down in here, you can see the, where the fuses go. That looks like fuse from the bottom, fuse one and two and three, but it's not. It's actually, see down in there? It's actually skip, skip, and then fuse three, which is blank, and then four, which is 20, and 15, which is five. Now, those aren't the actual fuse numbers. I'm just using this to illustrate you can see the skips here. Okay, so it, it's if you pull fuses on this car, it gets a little tricky. But I want to show you. Let's start at the back. Okay, I want to call these out. And as you as you if you want to check your own fuse, I want to tell you when you should have a fuse and when you shouldn't have a fuse. Okay, so you should have from starting from the back. You should have skip, skip, fuse, 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 fuse. Another gap in the middle for a skip. Another skip. Fuse, 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 another skip, skip, a big 40, and then skip, skip, fuse, fuse, skip, skip, skip. Okay, so keep that in mind. I know that sounds incredibly weird, but just look at the way these fuses go in here. Uh, if you don't have that set up, you're missing a fuse, and your amplifier does not have power. If it doesn't have power on this red wire, another way you can test this is get a test, not a test light, get a voltmeter and test across brown, which is ground, and red, and, ye and yellow, okay, right here, which is hot. Okay, so, and if you'll notice, that setup is duplicated on all of the rest of the uh, audio components. As you can see, you've got red, you've got uh, red, yellow, and you've got uh, brown, okay, uh, for, for, uh, for ground, the red is hot. Uh, this little blue wire here, I believe, is CAN bus. Don't, don't hold me to that, but it's also on all of the other uh 
other deals here, as you can see. See that? So uh, on the nav unit and on the CD changer. So basically, this is your Bose amp. It's pretty heavy duty, man. It'll take a hit. And it sits above the water line if you were ever to get water in your truck. This unit, on the other hand, this is the audio gateway. Okay, the audio gateway, its sole purpose in life is to kind of be the master controller for the head unit. I will almost guarantee you if your unit is shutting off and saying no signal available or, or no system available or whatever, this is going to be your problem. Okay, it sits in this metal cradle. They sell used on eBay for 200 bucks. All right, so basically you pull this whole rack, the top rack out first, the bottom rack out next. Uh, there's really not that many bolts, just a few around the uh, engine part or the bay here. Pull all that shit out, and then you're going to be left with two racks. Nav unit, CD changer, audio gateway, which is made by Becker. Uh, it's a Becker 7003 model, I believe, but check on yours. It'll have a sticker, and then the Bose system. All right, so, uh, and then make sure that you have all your fiber optics here. Uh, and these all do have to be in the right order. Um, you can test this shit by buying that test cable and bypassing. You cannot, and, and bypassing the faulty piece. Like if you don't know if your nav unit's bad or whatever, you can buy a little loop that will test that. Um, again, um, the audio gateway cannot be bypassed. It is the brain uh, of the unit, okay? It does not generate the fiber optic signal. The head unit actually does that. And the first unit that it hits is the Bose amp. This comes in from uh, the in, this comes in from the head unit and hits the amp, okay? And it splits off, and then it goes into the yeah, it goes into the uh, gateway, okay? Um, the order does matter, from what I've heard. I don't know that for sure, but if all else fails, check the order, okay? Um, and check your check your uh, your fiber. Make sure you don't have any kinks or any cuts. You can actually see light coming through these things, and there's a really fast, easy way to check this stuff, and I want to show you how to do it. So I'm going to disconnect one of mine here. Okay. Let me do this. Oh, shoot. If I can get it. They're a little tricky. <clears throat> ah, crap. I'm going to see if I can pull one out of the... out of the... Uh, there we go. Out of the changer. And take a little light and shine it in here. And see when I'm shining the light into this, see how it's, it shows up? Okay, that's good. That means you're getting light signal transferred. And you can test each one of these. They are kind of a pain in the butt, but you can do that visual test. So what I've done is I've ordered a new gateway. I'm taking the old one out, okay? And I am going to get this sucker fixed, hopefully. Um, also, these will occasionally flash on their own. You'll see a little tiny red dot of light right there. That's how they communicate with each other. Fiber optic is badass. It's like Toslink for your home stereo. Uh, extremely high bandwidth. Um, again, a great design uh, in theory when it all works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out this unit and then I'll be right back with you.